All right, all right, all right, all right. Good morning, everybody. This is going to be a very David E. Taylor update. And always remember, your opinion is a lie. <clears throat> Today, what I'm going to talk about for however long it takes to, to kind of get this off. A few things we're going to talk about is the exposure of David's new mansion, right? <clears throat> it's all, it's like a beautiful disaster, basically, for him, really. Right, the lady that, that exposed it, um her name right here. Give me one second. <clears throat> All she was was a was a real estate writer, I believe. I got her name right here. Um, let's see here. Ashley Gerbel Kritzer. G-U-R-B-A-L is her middle name. She's a real estate editor for, it looks like, Business Journal. She has her email listed as, as a critzer at bizjournals.com. Phone number 813-342-2476. That's listed on her website. So Ashley Gerbel Kritzer, I want to give a big shout out to you, first of all, for writing this story. Because what you've done, I'll get into this a little bit too. What you've done is something you're probably not, I'll get into that. And it's going to blow your mind too. You're going to shit a brick when you realize what you've done. I'm, I'm shitting a brick because one, me and one of the other channel members talking today and sourcing some stuff on the internet and finding out about this, this real estate deal, okay? Okay, Ms. Kritzer, this, this real estate deal, okay, was done by a man by the name of David E. Taylor and Joshua Media Ministries, Kingdom of God, Global Church, whatever you want to call it. He's got four different names, okay? The newest one is Marvels in America World Healing. So they purchased this mansion under the Kingdom of God Global Church name through a real estate or through an investment firm, um, Crosby Capital USA LLC. All right. This investment firm is is no stranger to being tied up in court with Rico. Okay, and Rico, I have to look up the acronym because I can't quite remember what it means. Racketeer influenced and corrupt organization. This the man. This man, okay, Dave. The man that David got all this deal through. This is no bullshit, guys. This is all, me and this source. He's gonna call Friday. Actually, we're gonna talk about where David lives, and um, I'm not gonna get too much into that detail yet. But I want to kind of get this everybody thinking, okay? So this man that David finances this this deal through, Yonel Devico. Okay, I think I don't know if I'm saying his name right. It's spelled Y O N E L D E V I C O. All right, this firm was recently listed up in New York, but it bankrupted. Okay, bankrupted up in New York, moved down to Florida where it's operating now out of Tampa, where David now financed it from. So, Miss Kritzer, what you've actually done, okay. Is, is you've actually You've actually untied. You've, you're actually opening the doors on an international money laundering ring. No bullshit. Because this com this company, okay, ninety nine percent shareholder is the mother that lives in Morocco. The one percent shareholder is Yanal Devoco. And this is your man. This is Yanal Devoco. I think I'm saying his right his name right, but this is who he is. Okay, this is who owns. Crosby Capital out of Tampa Bay, Florida. This man is no stranger to litigation and financial crimes with Rico either. He's tied up in one right now still. Makes it befitting that David would find a shady-ass fucking broker like this guy and do a shady-ass real estate deal, all right? And another thing we're still trying to confirm too is the actual value on that house is because what I'm learning from our sources is that Nobody in their right mind would pay $8 million for a house in Lutz where David lives. They said there's no fucking way. No way in hell. Okay? And these are sources, guys. These are legitimate sources. Um, again, I'll never give them up. But there's people who, who I've talked to and said there's no fucking way. The fact that uh, that house is actually valued at just over $2 million. Just under three million, like between two and three million. 
It's not even if if that house is valued at two million, then they just laundered six over six million dollars worth of money. Something went on real shady with that deal, okay? Because they said my sources said there's no way that house is worth that much money. Impossible. And anybody with that type of money would go over to like Sarasota or something like over by the beach by the water. They said there's no fucking way you're gonna buy a, a mansion in Lutz, Florida. That's just what I've been told. There's no fucking way. You could go. You could go other places. Ricky repass. You could go other places and buy. And buy a much nicer house, with for the same amount of money, right? So. This Ashley. Ashley Gerbel Kritzer. You've you've possibly just opened up. This is just my opinion, guys. All right. So this guy's here in America, but his mom's in Morocco running the business on 99% like shareholder of the business while he's only 1%. What does that do? That basically cleans him of all responsibility, right? And what what it looks like is this guy is tied up in a lot of shady fucking real estate deals, this Yano Devico. And what he does is he buys these like shitty houses for way overpriced and then it's like he ties them up. It's, it's weird. It's the way... He, it's almost like he's getting the courts to launder the money for him, the way he's setting up these deals. Me and again, me and this one of the sources talked the other day on the phone, and we're sitting here talking about this, how they're moving money around, right? Um, and just funneling it in and out of these out of these LLCs and incorporations. And Kingdom of God, what's weird? If you look on the tax, if you look on the county tax records, guys. There's, it's Kingdom of God Global Church Incorporated and it's Kingdom of God Global Church LLC. Then it's just Kingdom of God Global Church. So they have multiple filings. They have multiple filings. So they have an LLC and incorporated and then just like, I, I guess a doing business as or a standard 501c3. I don't know. But that's what, if you put, if you put all of them together and you look at all of them, it's, it's all there. Um, so again, I want a big shout out to Ashley Kritzer. For the business journal real estate editor um and, and another thing is a lot of other a lot of other sources are picking up this story like especially in the co christian community but i this isn't the kind of exposure david wanted because i think at this point this is just my opinion like this is going to start picking up steam eventually and this is eventually hopefully going to open up the door to accountability for these people Starting with David, you got to start with the lowest hanging fruit and set an example. This David is probably operating one of the most destructive that we've seen. I mean, Catherine Crick, she's up there too. But David, just the amount of negligence and financial fraud he's been doing and just not giving a fuck about it. His time's up, man. Your time's up, David. You can't hide from this one. This is too big to hide from, David. This is too big to hide from. This kind of purchase, and again, the, the thing is, David, the reason this story came out is because of who sold it, not because you bought it, because of who sold it. And the only reason we found out who sold it is because of this journalist, this awesome journalist named Ashley Gerbel Kritzer. The littlest piece of information, that little piece of information, the Crosby, the Crosby Group, Crosby Capital, that now ties David to a financial institution, which is, is is in a fucking financial fucking fraud case right now with RICO, and that's federal. Guys, RICO is federal, okay? That's where you go when you commit financial crimes, like David's doing. It makes me wonder if David looked into this guy or if he just, if this guy's part of his fucking church or something, is like, yeah, I can fucking launder your money for you. This is what you need to do. Buy a big ass house and fucking buy the fact that figure that house is to say say that house just let's say the house is three or four million dollars okay let's say the project is four million dollars but they pay eight for it but we don't know there's a lot of shady shit going on because David doesn't show where the where the money he has to, he has to show us the money he has to it's illegal for him not to actually for him to go against the five hundred one c three tax code and. It shows, hey, if you don't, you'll lose your tax-exempt status.
but we haven't seen that happen to David. All he do, does is just jump names. That's it. Now Marvel's in America, World Healing is his newest scam. Again, I don't know how anybody doesn't pick up on this. I'm glad, I'm glad there's more articles coming out about this because this needs to be fucking recognized. These people are laundering money. Now it's international. Now it's international because this Crosby Capital shareholder is the mother, 99% over in Morocco. And I'm not sure if Morocco is a non-extradition non country or not. I want to say it is. But that's where, guess where the money's going now? It's going to go to Morocco. And I don't know if, if Morocco's on any kind of terrorist watch list or anything like that. Um, but I know there are terrorist cells in Morocco, so I don't know. Now is David, now are we pushing the lines of David funding international terrorism at this point because he's laundering money out of the country? Hmm. This is my opinion, guys. This is me sitting here thinking. This is how I think when I think about what David could be doing is because gets tied up with a shady investment firm, right? And there, there's, there's active court cases. No bullshit. <clears throat> He's, this Yano Devico has done some shady shit, it looks like. Makes, makes sense why David would, would deal with them. Quinn versus Crosby Capital USA LLC. There's numerous cases on this guy too. United States District Court, <clears throat> May May eighth, twenty twenty one. I don't even want to read all this crap, but if you look up Yano Devico and you start looking up Rico cases, you're gonna find him real fast. He's no he's no stranger. <clears throat> to racketeering. So again, it's I, I think it's okay to start calling the kettle black in this case. David is laundering money internationally now because this Quinn Capital or the Crosby Capital is, is over in Morocco. The main shareholder doesn't even live in America. The son does. The son lives in America. But the mom's over in Morocco fucking laundering the money. <clears throat> Having eaten breakfast yesterday, I feel my stomach down bad. Um, <clears throat> let's see, that's kind of it for that. But put your thinking caps on for Friday, guys. I kind of wanted to get that out. This is really happening. This is no bullshit, guys. You can look it up. You can look up this Yano Devico. It's spelled Y-O-N-E-L-D-E-V-I-C-O. Yano Devico. What his nationality is, I don't know. Um, if his mom's in Morocco, I'm guessing he's Moroccan. I, I don't know. I don't know much about him. <clears throat> Just digging up on him with the source the other day. Um, it looks like he's no stranger to this. He's no stranger to money laundering, economic crimes, white-collar crimes, being tied up with RICO and federal cases, buying shitty properties way over price, for, for way over what they're valued at, doing very little work on them, going into foreclosure, shit like that, tying them up in court with litigation and pro just bullshit. Again, is what it sounds like is this Yanel Devico guy is using the federal court system to clean his money for him. This is just, again, me and the source we were talking the other day. This is this is what we were kind of throwing around. How could this happen? What would they? What would be the reason for them to do all this? Like pay for these overpriced properties? You know, this is exactly what we're talking about. There's a lot of really shady shit going on here, guys, and it needs to be examined 100%. If this was me doing this shit, I would be knocking on my goddamn door. But David E. Taylor can do it. I would like to see this stopped. I would like to see our government get off their ass and do their job. Whoever it takes. The banks definitely need to be involved on this. Um, definitely the fucking... Uh, I'm sure... The, pff, all the three-letter fucking names should probably be involved on this one. CIA should be too because he's fucking now pushing money overseas into a country that has terrorist cells. Morocco? 
There's Terra's. Terra's over there. So now it's now we're getting into international crimes. Economic international crimes is what David's committing now at this point. 